Corrado. Yes, my dear. I want to give you something, but you have to stop paying attention to computer before I give it to you. Don't do it. It's a trap. It sounds like no. it sounds like a lot of work. It's really not that hard to not pay attention to your computer. No, it's really The thing hard. is an addiction. You're oh, I'm sorry. That to getting your work computer. done is an addiction. Psh, you just made it very convenient that that is you getting work done. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah, doing things I enjoy and then turning it into work is like, like pretty much the greatest thing. In the world. Yeah, but you're addicted yeah, to it. That's so convenient. It is so convenient. <laughs> Crotto! Yeah, I'm listening. No, stop just listening. Pay attention to me. Okay, my head is turned at 45 <laughs> days towards you. <laughs> okay, what do you want? It took too long. <laughs> What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? What do you want? You have to apologize. No. I was going to give you something that I handmade oh. that took lots of time. <laughs> and now you're being mean to me. Good. <laughs> Why are you so rude? Because it's fun. <laughs> it's not fun. No. It is fun. Look what I made. <laughs> 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 Look what I made you. What is it? It's a friendship bracelet. Is it really? Looks like a mustache to me. <laughs> I made it for you. Did you? Yeah. Where's yours? I don't have one yet. Well then it's not a friendship bracelet. It's yes it is one. because I made it for you. Isn't this supposed to be like matching one? Like you're supposed to have one? Fine, I'll make another one and then we'll match. Why blue? Because blue is my favorite color. <laughs> What's my favorite color? Green. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make a green one for me and then we can wear uh, each other's uh, favorite color. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna tie it on super tight so it never comes off. Snip snip. Oh, you can't cut my friendship off of your hand. It's not on my hand, it's on my wrist. Whatever. I think you can go a little tighter than that. Okay. It'll stretch out, right? Yeah. There you go. Wow. You can cut the ends if you want to. Good job. Thanks. It's pretty, I guess. Ah, there we go. Now it's pretty. <laughs> so even though sometimes you will see in the vlog that I do not always eat, uh, really healthy food. I'm usually engaging in some type of social experience, which is my excuse to party and have fun with my friends and temporarily eat like crap for a meal or a day. When I'm not vlogging me eating really poorly, I'm actually eating pretty well. And from the beginning of the year uh, until now, as of today, I'm 190 pounds and I was 205 at the beginning of the year. So even though I went to Chicago this past weekend and kind of ate like crap, uh, I actually uh, did not manage to put on a bunch of weight and I'm pretty happy about it. So one thing I've learned about nutrition that I find really, really interesting is that all of our food, everything we eat, I mean, as you, as you probably know, can be measured in a total of calories and calories are the number of fuel that we are taking and putting into our body. And when you exercise, you can burn calories and when you're going on a diet, you shouldn't actually really worry too much about fat. It's a really 90s thing to believe that eating fat makes you fat. It's actually not very true. What makes you fat for the most part is consuming more calories than you burn. Like in a day or a 24 hour period, however many calories you put in you, hopefully you would use that amount of calories or more. If you've put in too many calories, then your body takes it and stores it as fat on you. But it's not actually eating fat that makes you fat. What I have found really interesting and something I've only really learned in the past year is that not only is the master number, the main number we use with which to value our food uh, calories, but every calorie of every food in the entire world, anything that you have ever eaten ever, is made up of exactly three things. Anything that you ever eat, food in its entire existence is made up of a ratio of, of one or two or three of these things. And these are called macronutrients. And the three macronutrients are protein, fat, 
and carbohydrates. And if you look at the nutritional label of any food ever, you'll see that carbohydrates, protein, and fat, they're bold. And then everything else is like a, a breakdown of a carbohydrate or a breakdown of a fat or a breakdown of a protein. And it's just so crazy to me because maybe you knew this, maybe this doesn't come as a surprise to you, but it doesn't really seem like common knowledge. Like a lot of people that I've talked to about this didn't know that sugar was a carb and didn't know that fat fat isn't necessarily bad for you or necessarily good for you or that fat is any better or worse for you than carbs. We keep searching out labels that say low fat, no fat, as if eating fat makes us fat, but it's not even, that's not how it works. When you're looking at it very simply, and I know that it is more complicated than that between the makeup of people's bodies and their chemicals and their hormones, like everybody lives a different life and everybody's body is different, but at the real root of it, the baseline, kind of across the average human being, what you're really looking at for weight loss is calories in versus calories out. And luckily, we as human beings burn most of our calories just by living, just by having a heartbeat and having lungs and having blood pump through us. Like even while you're sleeping, you are burning calories. If you don't exercise in a day, you are burning calories because you walk, because you breathe, because you think, because you blink, because you eat. Like our bodies generally, like everybody is pretty much burning over a thousand calories a day just by existing as a human being and then your level of activity through the rest of the day determines how many other calories that you burn. And that's why nutritional labels have the percentage uh, and at the top it says based on a 2,000 calorie a day diet. And like I said, everybody's different. Everybody's body is different. Everybody handles food a different way. And everybody treats food a different way. I guess for me right now, it's just very eye-opening to realize how much we're not paying attention, how automatic and ignorant our relationship with food is, like something that you, that, that literally you put inside of you and becomes you, like food becomes you. We are made of everything we have consumed and we're just like, we're really not paying attention. And then like the more I know, it's almost like, I don't, I don't want to know more. Like I didn't realize how bad I just let, let ignorance is bliss. Let me just stuff myself with carbs and it'll make me sleepy and I'll go to bed and then I'll wonder why I'm tired tired all the time. <laughs> It's so silly. But it's been really nice to learn over the past year, and I just wanted to share some of that with you guys. Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside so don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey Home is where the vlog is